I'm so excited. And you have to promise me that you're not gonna pass out when you see my model for today. It is 7.30 in the morning on a Sunday. I'm at the CSU campus in Fort Collins. Are you sitting down? Okay, I have not met this dog yet, but my client very, very graciously agreed to let me film behind the scenes at her session. And you have seen her before, actually at the same location, Helen, who is the director of Havoc, the human animal bond in Colorado, got herself mm, a puppy. Yeah, that she is going to train to be a therapy dog. And we had to do a photo session. Now we wait. All of my gear is loaded up. I'm using the Sony a7R 3 and attached right now is a 200 to 600 millimeter lens. And I have my other two lenses. I also brought the Flashpoint 600 with me and a stand and a softbox that you'll see later in the video. As a backup though, I do have my speed light. The extra awesomeness of this is that her puppy is all black and I get questions all the time. How do you photograph black dogs and cats? So you're going to see that in action today. Please be sure you're sitting down. I'm not going to be liable for anyone passing out when they see footage of this puppy. Helen knows this property really well, so she knows where we want to go. This is probably the fourth session I've done with her over the years. Hi, Cruzy. Hi. She's gonna get so much taller than him. Mm -hmm. oh. She's oh. like, oh, she's already got the head tilt. You could tell that poor little Wonder has only been experiencing a leash for a few days. <laughs> Isn't she hysterical? First stop is the lagoon, this shallow little pond here. Look at the duckies. It's just after 8 a.m. on this fall morning and it's still overcast. So I haven't gotten out any of my lights yet. I'm just counting on the nice, even diffused light through the clouds. And we've got light bouncing off of the rocks and the gravel, which helps fill in underneath. The other advantage here is that we're facing wonder towards the rising sun. Although it is diffused, you still get that light stronger on the east side. Isn't she doing so well right there? We needed to get pictures of Helen with Wonder also. So here I instruct her to sit down with Puppy. And you notice I'm still facing both of them towards the rising sun. And just for funsies, I'm going to play you a few seconds of what it sounds like at a photo shoot with me and all the crazy noises I make myself. Uh, so brace yourself and be looking at your dog for their reaction. Here we go, puppy, puppy. <laughs> Next, we moved to the other side of the lagoon pond. And at first I had Wonder up on the rocks, but uh, she was doing pretty good down here on the gravel. And I got those pretty red grasses behind her. And again, I made some really funky, crazy noises and we're still having her faced towards the sun. Good job. Oh, she's still standing there. She's like, what? <laughs> oh, so cute. Okay, parkour. Okay, up on the rock wall, and we're taking some more pictures of oh, Wonder. At this point, we get out her container of treats, and Chris shakes them for me, and that gets her attention too. Side note, 
college campuses are gorgeous for photo sessions. There are parks and ponds and beautiful trees and lawns and I don't know, maybe it's just CSU campus. <laughs> you let me know if you have a beautiful college campus in your area. We wanted one more spot next to the water and this rock was perfect. It positioned Wonder again looking straight at the rising sun diffused through the clouds so really beautiful even lighting. And what's also nice is the reeds behind her are darker and so it's much easier to pick your exposure when everything in the scene is the same value. So although she's pretty dark, it's not like we have a white sky behind her. So adding something that's a little bit darker behind your dark subject usually helps a lot with that nice even lighting. Time to move on to a different setting. And just beyond the lagoon is this beautiful lawn area with a slight hill looking into those trees and you can see the gorgeous yellow behind and I had to take advantage of this location. You can't really tell on the video, but deep in those trees was a much darker scene. And you can see I set up my Flashpoint uh, 600 with that softbox dome on it really really low and what I wanted to do was be able to light wonder and have an exposure that would still keep the trees in the background the right exposure as well and you'll see throughout this that the sun continues to rise into this scene you can see my shadow in some of these areas but the light really helped quite a bit and <laughs> and she did pretty well in amongst all these yellow leaves too. Now note on the video, you won't always see the flash flash, but it is working. And of course we had to pull crews in for some sibling photos as well. Next up is to pose all four of the family members together sitting on the ground. Again, it's hard to tell on the video camera how deep the shadows are back in there. And the sun coming up looks much brighter than it actually did <laughs> through my main camera. But I have the same light set up and I believe I had it set to TTL with the receiver on the top of the camera. So I'm just gonna fiddle with it a little bit while they get settled in and do some test shots. And you can just see me in the t very, very far bottom right corner with my camera. So I'm pretty far away from them but I'm using an app that makes noises. I'm trying to make noises. I've got the duck toy and the treats. And this is the last setup that we did. <laughs> and I think everyone's doing really, really well. Oops, not the last setup. I had to do a couple more of Helen and the puppy in this gorgeous location.
Okay. Okay, the sun's in my eyeballs, but thank you, Helen. <laughs> thank you. I was so happy to meet your new pupper. <laughs> yeah. I think it went so well. Thank you so much yeah. for your work. Yeah. Yeah. Appreciate thanks for, it. Thanks for volunteering to be part of this uh, sure. tutorial. Yeah, you bet. <laughs> Good luck, everyone. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed her pupper. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, we're going to let Helen and everybody go home now. <laughs> All right. What did you think of Wonder? And Wonder's older sibling is Cruz and Helen and Chris. Big shout out to them for letting me uh, get some footage uh, behind the scenes of this photo session. Okay, so I have a couple of tips for you when photographing black dogs. Uh, for gear, I use my A7R 3 Sony with the 70 to 200 millimeter lens the whole time. Uh, we had plenty of room to move and I had helpers, so that was good. When we were near the pond, it was still overcast. So with black dogs, one thing to keep in mind is overcast is really great, especially if you can have a dark background behind them. And so then your camera can expose that whole scene evenly. Uh, I didn't get my flash out there yet. It still seemed bright enough and there was some shade areas. Uh, so we did really well without a flash in there. And then we went down the trail and there was a really beautiful stand of trees with some gold trees behind them, but it were pretty deep in shadow. So I brought my uh, Flashpoint Explore 600. Now I could have used my, my small speed light flash, but I used that at a session yesterday and it just, it just wasn't strong enough. So I use this with that dome uh, box and it looked, beautiful. So this way I could stop down the exposure, get the color in the trees behind them, but still have them well lit. Now the sun was behind us and it was starting to come out a little bit more. I may not have used this. Uh, and then, uh, you know, we could have gone without the flash, but this way I had a lot of control over it. So the first one was make sure like an overcast day or open shade area, uh, have a dark background behind them is always really nice and use a flash when you can. And I want, I think at some point, I don't know if I did, but one thing that I do too with the black dogs is to let them be in full sun too and really get that shiny, shiny coat from the full sun. Uh, so that's another way to go with these black dogs. Uh, one thing is this is a short haired dog. And so we didn't have to worry about as much of the, like her hair getting in front of her eyes or something. Uh, so watch that when you're photographing longer hair black dogs. That's when a flash like this will come in handy because you can get a little bit lower than maybe your son is and get into the, their eyes for that little catch light. So flash with the black dogs is pretty helpful too. Uh, out the top of my mind, those are my main tips. Uh, of course, you'll see pictures uh, that I took during this session. The idea was to get some of uh, Wonder as her baby pictures, some of Helen and Wonder, since Wonder will be Helen's uh, dog through Havoc that will go out and provide therapy to people in different settings. And then of course their family dog, Cruz and Chris. So we had to get the whole family in there as well. And I think it went really well. What time is it? It's 9.30. So the whole thing probably took about an hour, which is my goal. And then Wonder was just sleeping in her kennel in the back of the car within moments of being finished. I will put a link somewhere here also to the Havoc team photos that we did here on campus as well. And as always, I wish you many whoops, purrs, and T-R-E-A-T-S. I hope you enjoyed this video, this behind the scenes of photographing a black puppy on a beautiful fall day. Oh, let's go get some coffee.